and welcome to the information session for the Respiratory Care Program found at Lone Star College Kingwood. My name is Dr. Fiona Campbell. I'm the director of the program and in this video I will discuss the, an overview of the profession, the pro program structure, and how to apply and being accepted into the program. This slide is an overview of our profession. The video I'm about to play is an overview of being a respiratory therapist and the best parts of our profession. I'm a respiratory therapist. I am a respiratory therapist. I'm a respiratory therapist and I save lives. A respiratory therapist is a professional who has been trained to work with patients who are affected with chronic lung disease across the spectrum. So anything that affects your breathing, a respiratory therapist is likely going to be involved in the care of that patient. A respiratory therapist is not only a therapist, but a practitioner. We help patients in so many different capacities, not only with breathing, but with education, with lifestyle. So we have many different roles throughout healthcare. It can involve working in a hospital such as the ICU, a neonatal ICU. We can work in the emergency department. We can work in diagnostics and therapeutics. Um, we do outpatient education. Um, we do smoking cessation, asthma education. We work in pediatrics. So, you know, a respiratory therapist, we hold so many different roles that really help the community in so many different ways. I'm a respiratory therapist. I'm a respiratory therapist, and I care for my patients breath by breath. The thing I like most about it is, is the variety of the day and the variety of the career. In the hospital I'm at, we have neonates all the way up to adults. Uh, we have a burn ICU, trauma ICU, so we can be anywhere at any time of the day. There is always a patient that needs uh, something unique. Sometimes there are physicians that have uh, different needs that we have to take care of. Obviously it starts off finding out where I'm at, where I'm assigned to, uh, getting a report uh, from the night shift, seeing what the plan is for the patients, and then um, you know, going to see every patient, doing rounds. I work in pediatrics, so I may get five patients, may get six patients, but they're patients that need help with breathing, and my job is to provide them with their treatments. A typical day would be going from giving a treatment to maybe a five or six-year-old that's slightly sick, then going into an intensive care unit, somebody that's much more ill, and every decision that I make on how to set that life support machine could affect their outcome. We have so many different pieces of equipment and they all do so many different things from a wide variety of life support equipment to sustaining equipment to equipment that just will deliver oxygen. So a typical day is checking equipment, getting with our, our people. Um, we also will go in-house and check on the therapists in-house and see if they need anything. But primarily we're waiting for calls and, and they come, we usually do two to four transports a night. It can be anywhere from two or three hours long to six hours long, or sometimes you can be on a shift. We see each patient anywhere from one time a day to six times a day, you know, depending on the type of patient. Day will typically end right about five, six o'clock in the evening, so about 12 hour days. I'm a respiratory therapist. I'm a respiratory therapist and I love taking care of people. I worked in a teaching hospital, so it was routine that we always had students, you know, following us. Precepting students was one of our responsibilities. So that's how I got into education. I became a clinical instructor. Um, that also opened another door for me um, when a program director position became available. Empowering the patient to manage their chronic lung disease so that they understand that they can live a good life. It's about quality of life, so I feel that if I can help teach them on how to handle their chronic lung disease, it's about having the confidence that they're gonna be okay. 
the education and dealing with the patients, it's very satisfying to me. Uh, you go in a room with someone you haven't seen in a while, but they look at you, the family looks at you, and they remember you, and they're happy to see you. And that just, that makes my day. You know, it makes it all worth it. So, I'm a respiratory therapist. I'm a respiratory therapist. I'm a respiratory therapist, and I make a difference. Being a respiratory therapist, you are considered a essential health care worker. In the Houston area, the annual salary is approximately $60,000 a year. In, also in our area, it's an extremely viable job market. Majority of our graduates, uh, nearly 90% or more than 90% of our graduates, ha uh, obtain a full-time job with benef benefits within six months to three months, three months to six months after graduating. The program is accredited. All healthcare programs are required to be accredited to allow graduates to sit for credentialing exams and to practice in the profession. Our program is fully accredited by the Commission on Accreditation for Respiratory Care, and we are in good standing with all of our outcomes. The program awards an associate in applied sciences in, with a major in respiratory care. The course of study for our program is 66 credit hours and along six consecutive semesters. It is considered a full-time curriculum in which there are didactic and lab courses as well as clinical courses in local area hospitals. Our program offers two admissions for day and evening programs. We, all our students will complete eight 10 or 12 hour clinical practicum courses beginning in the first semester and ending in the last semester. All clinical practice is conducted at local hospitals. We go as far north as Conroe, as far west as Texas Children's Hospital West. We go as far east as the Methodist Hospital in Baytown, and we go as far south as all the hospitals located in the Texas Medical Center. As I stated before, there are two programs that we offer, a day program in which all courses are offered during the day, clinical hours will vary, and an evening program. All courses on campus during the evening program start at 5 p.m. and run to about 10 or 10.30 p.m. at night. The application period for the spring program, which this upcoming is in the day program, excuse me, the spring program is the upcoming evening program. Is The application period runs the first business day in June to the last business day in August. The summer program accepts for the day program. First, the application period for the summer program is the first business day in November to the last business day in January. In order to become an applicant, you must first be a Lone Star College student. Um, if you are not a student of the, of the college, uh, you will be asked to complete an application and become a student. You will also submit all outside official transcripts to the LSC system, in which your transcript will be evaluated for all courses that you've taken outside of Lone Star. Once you are a Lone Star student and the application period opens, you will complete a respiratory application found with the Health Occupation website. We will conduct application workshops and they will be posted on the Respiratory Care webpage or you can attend an in-live information session to get help with your application.
In order to be considered an applicant to the program, the prerequisite courses that must be met are Biology 2401, which is Anatomy and Physiology 1, English 1301, Composition and Rhetoric 1, Psychology 2301, General Psychology. The math requirement is Math 0310 or a TSI score of 350 or higher or having completed a college level math course. Courses must be completed with a C or higher before apl uh, applying to the program. This means that we do not accept courses that were completed with a D. If you have questions regarding your transferability of your courses that are outside of Lone Star College, uh, please make an appointment with Dr. Herford, uh, the division counselor. Other general education courses that are not considered prerequisites but are required to complete your degree are Biology 2402, Anatomy and Physiology 2, Biology 2420, which is Medical Microbiology, and an elective in the Fine Arts Humanities subject area. These courses are not absolutely required to be considered for the program, but in the scoring mechanism of our application process, having these courses will help raise your score and in turn increase your chances in applying for this program. Another component of our application process is the Health Sciences Reasoning Test. The test is available from the first day of the application until two days before the application deadline. In order to take the exam, you must pay for the test through the Testing Center Marketplace found at this link. The test is currently available at Lone Star College Kingwood, Lone Star College Montgomery, and Lone Star College Tomball for face-to-face -face test taking. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, as of right now, the HSRT will be offered in an online environment. This does not require you to attend a testing center to take the exam. More details will be given um, as the application period opens. After you have taken the Health Sciences Reasoning Test, the personnel with Lone Star College Kingwood will import input the score. Once the test is taken, it may take up to two business days for the score to populate in the application. This does require you to be patient, as the scores may or may not be input as quickly as at when, once you've taken the exam. Scores will only be accepted for the current application period or and year and not it from previous application years. Additionally, only the first score will be accepted. If a applicant attempts to retake the HSRT exam, the first score obtained will be the score entered as part of the application. To ensure that your application is complete, number one, please make sure that you apply online at the Health Occupations online application. All components must be completed. This includes the HSRT exam and a writing sample. The writing sample prompt is to write a one to two page writing sample on the specialty area of respiratory care that interests you. Also conclude with a paragraph explaining why you want to enter the respiratory care program. The selection committee looks to ensure that this writing sample is completed in MLA or APA format and must be typed and uploaded to the application. Once you have completed the HSRT exam and uploaded your writing sample to the application website, your application is considered complete and submitted. All completed applications will go through a selection process. Once the application process is ended, the committee will 
meet shortly after the end of the application period and select the top 24 applicants. The score sheet that is included with the application um, will be reviewed and includes scoring of all the academic courses taken um, and, are, and based on a numerical scale. Completion of any previous degrees, HSRT score, writing sample, and any points deducted for any retakes of academic courses. This is a very competitive program and only is limited, admission is only limited to 24 students. The application scoring is based on several factors. First is your prerequisite GPA, which is a minimum overall GPA of 2.0. All accumulated grade points for general education courses, any educational degrees that are obtained, this includes certificates, associate degrees, bachelor's degrees, master's degrees. And lastly, the HSRT exam points that are awarded with taking the exam. There is a deduction for repeated courses. If you had taken courses to improve your GPA, the highest grade will go into the computation. For example, if you took a exam and uh, took a course and it was awarded a B, you retook it and took an A, the A would be considered for the scoring. One point will be deducted from your score sheet for every repeated course. So for this example, if you had taken the course and obtained a B, and then retook the course and obtained an A, one point will be deducted from the overall score. Once a student is offered a position in the program, admission is conditional upon obtaining a background check and drug screening. Lone Star College does have a policy for consequences of criminal, criminal conviction found on background checks that basically explains that you may be able to complete the program and obtain your degree, but is, Lone Star College does not guarantee that you will obtain your credential or licensing if it is found to have an issue with your background information. If you have concerns regarding the background check, you will be referred to the Texas Medical Board um, Respiratory Care Practitioner Licensing Area. I have included contact information if you feel you have an issue with your background check. Once you are referred to the Texas Medical Board, you will be asked to obtain confirmation that a license after graduation is possible based on your background check concern. Also after being accepted to the program, you will be asked to obtain several health documents and certifications in order to enter your clinical rotations. This includes your CPR or basic life support certification, bacterial meningitis immunizations, TB tests or an equivalent, your hepatitis B three-shot series or fast track, your MMR titer, which is your measles, mumps, and rubella, tetanus diphtheria pertussis shot within the last 10 years, a physical exam, you must obtain health insurance, and you will also be held to hold malpractice or liability insurance. The malpractice and liability insurance is a fee that is included with every clinical course. The approximate cost for the program is based on in-district tuition. Your first year includes tuitions, fees, books, instruments and uniforms and is approximately $3,500.
Your second year, including tuition, fees, books, and exit exams, is approximately $2,500 with an in-district cost of approximately $6,000. There are other fees included immunizations, uniforms, and external study guides that may be added to this cost. If you anticipate utilizing financial aid, it is your responsibility as a student to be prepared financially. Now is the time to check on your qualification as financial aid if you are going to need it. There are also several other avenues including scholarships and uh, veteran, veteran, for veterans uh, there are supporting financial avenues. Also, respiratory care is considered a hot job for workforce solutions. If you are a student that is working and going to school, workforce solutions will be, is available for those who are enrolled in a respiratory care program. Lastly, if you would like more information or more details regarding your particular standing for the pro for applying to the program, you can direct all your questions to kc-respiratorycare at lonestar.edu or call 281-312-1708. If you have questions regarding your academic courses, please contact Dr. Sue Ann Hereford at suann.hereford at lonestar.edu. She accepts appointments only by email and it must include your student ID number. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn about respiratory care and our program. I look forward to working with you and hope to see you as a student.